Just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Just cut to the intro. What up everybody, Alfie here, aka Random Black Guy, aka Chocolate Face No Makeup. Ooh, it's finally here. Uh, not really, but it's, it's, it's soon to be here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Doom 2021. Movies, I love movies. Doom 2021 is the newest film from the director, Denis Villeneuve. Girl, uh, he's the same director who did Arrival, uh, Blade Runner 2047. Personally, one of my favorite films, uh, Prisoner. And what's that film with uh, Jake Gyllenhaal uh, with a doppelganger? I don't remember that film, but that film is also really good. Uh, so that pretty much Villeneuve is one of my favorite directors, uh, new directors. He's pretty much a par with uh, Christopher Nolan. Like every film is just a spectacle film and it feels like every film is just better than the previous one. So that's why I love this director with a passion. Don't know that much about Dune overall. The source material uh, is based on a big seller book by Frank Herbert. And they also did a film, uh, I don't remember when it came out, directed by David Lynch. And I've seen that film. Uh, it's been a while now, but I've seen the film. I liked it for what it was, uh, but it still felt a lot like a David Lynch film. Uh, they also did a sh- yeah, a mini series, sci-fi did it, uh, starring, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy who plays, uh, Anyways, uh, this film has a stellar cast. Like, it feels like he brought everybody to be cast in this film. This film is starring Zendaya, Stella Skarsgård, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, Timothy Charmaine, Josh Brolin, uh, Javier Bardem, uh, Oscar Isaac, Jason Momoa, so you see, Dave Bautista. So you get it. It's a big, ass cast in this film the plot of the film is about uh this film is about paul who is a brilliant talent young kid born with a path to become somebody special he has to travel to the dangerous planet in the universe to pretty much secure for his family and his people's future a ill-minded power is coming into a conflict that pretty much is taking over the planet's most valuable resource a thing that has the gift to pretty much open up the humanity's full potential. But it's only, it's only a thing that can overcome their fear to survive. So yeah, that the plot is pretty complicated, um, but also pretty simple in a way. Uh, if you try to scrape beneath the surface, it is pretty, 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 pretty complicated. I'm not going to lie, though. This film is one of my favorite films of this year straight up this is probably top two my favorite film of this year this film overall is amazing straight up from start to finish i had a blast this is two hours and 35 minutes of epic journey with great direction Beautiful cinematography and great casting. Holy crap. Davis Villeneuve did it once again. He had pretty much <laughs> done a classic, a brilliant sequel for Blade Runner. So he didn't have to take the task of doing Dune, but he did a great job with this. I think this one is better than Blade Runner. Not that much. But it's still a little bit better than Blade Runner. The thing I really enjoy with this film, like I said, is the cinematography and the direction. This is a beautiful film to watch. Wow, this is beautiful. And you're just watching. Like, I watched it on the big screen, on the IMAX screen. And I was, like, captivated on every frame. Because I was just stuck of how beautiful this film really is. And I can't imagine uh, behind the scenes doing all of this 
this is like Mad Max Fury Road type of beautiful film to watch. Like, holy crap. And like I said, this is an adventure from start to finish that uh, I will remember this film. I've seen a lot of good films this year, but the thing is with those films is that it's pretty much forgettable films till you like see a poster or, or, or trailer of those films. But this film, like I was with my mouth open, just like, wow, I haven't felt like this in a while when I pretty much enjoy a film from start to finish. The only film that I really had that same feeling this year is The Green Knight. A lot of fans of Dune overall has been saying that this, that pretty much the book is kind of hard to pretty much convert to a film. And I think that, like I said, I, I don't know the source material, but what I've seen is it feels like he pretty much gave his homage and also his respect to the source material while telling his own story. And a lot of people that I saw this film with said that this is the closest to the source material. So I just taken what those people said and I just think that it pretty much felt like it. But I don't know. It feels like this was how Star Wars suppo was supposed to be. Like an epic journey. A epic war movie. A epic drama. Family. Conflict. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong type of film that I wanted to see with Star Wars? But it wasn't that thing at all. This is how you do a film. Stellan Skarsgård as the villain. Uh, Baroom something like that. He was menacing he looked crazy he looked like a person that just done a lot of bad shit but he's the last person you want to mess with but he was just really good and he chewed the scenery uh and the person i really enjoyed i I've, I've never been the biggest fan of him but it's uh timothy uh chalamet i probably butchered his last name i'm sorry but who? I've seen a kid in a lot of films that I always felt like this kid just need the perfect director to pretty much guide him. And I think that Dennis did a great job with this. He is really good in this film. Uh, I got the same feeling from Dave Patel with The Green Knight. I can't wait to see what Timothy is going to do next because he was freaking good. He needs to be nominated. That's how good he is as Paul, man. You believe this kid. This kid want to pretty much get his approval from his dad. He want to be somebody. He, he pretty much had a big, he pretty much has a big shoes to fill. But at the same time, he has to find his own journey, his own path to become his own person. And I like that relationship between his mom played by Rebecca Ferguson, but also his relationship with his dad played by Oscar Isaac. I bought that relationship. And I bought that, that Paul wants, wanted to be something else. And I even bought the relationship between him and Zendaya. I don't see anybody that's, to me, was a weak link in this film. Even Jason Momoa. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Jason Momoa, but he was really good in this film. The thing that I was scared was that he was going to be the surfer bro dude. And the first couple of minutes, I got that feeling. I was like, oh no. Don't do this because Jason Momoa has a tendency of pretty much playing Jason Momoa in every film. And yeah, Jason Momoa has a scene that is just freaking amazing. Uh, it was really badass. So that was kind of nice to see him doing his badass re once again. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Overall, I think that the visual is just amazing. It's stunning to watch this film. Just to go back to the tempo and the pacing of this film. It works smoothly. It feels like this film has a lot of themes and issues and stuff to go through, but it flows perfectly. And a film like this is hard to do, especially when I know that the source material has a lot of stuff. I think that they cram it in the right way. And also, this film is the first part of the universe of Dune. This is a great introduction. One thing that I have to say that I really like is the music by Han freaking Zimmer. It works well with the visual. Every score has its theme. 
So you know that they really wanted to have the music be a part of the story and the film. Doing the first part is a spectacular, epic journey from start to finish. I freaking enjoy it. I have nothing bad to say about this. Like I said, this is my number two favorite film of this year. Uh, the Green Knight being number one and this being number two. It, it really succeeded my expectations. Uh, I freaking love it. I'm just super happy that this film worked well. And I'm going to read the book. Uh, trust me, I just have to read the book after this, watching this film. And I even got to watch the sci-fi version that came out uh, 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 like 10, 15 years ago. If you can, if you have the opportunity, please watch it on the big screen. I watched it on IMAX and it was freaking amazing. Straight up! So my rating of Dune, the first part, 2021, I'm going to give it 5 out of 5. This is just amazing. I freaking love this film. Uh, anything from the costume is just amazing. The plot, uh, the acting, the music, the cinematography, the, the CGI, everything is great. And it's pretty much worked into perfection. And I was applauding after the film was done. Because I have, it's been a long time. I had so much fun watching a film like this. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about this film. I just don't. Like it's been two years since I watched a film like this, and it was Joker that I just loved. And I'm going to see it once again when this film come out. I'm going to see it. Trust me. I'm going to see it at least two more times because I love this freaking movie. Straight up. So yeah, five out of five for Dune. Anyways, guys, what do you think about Dune? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you excited to watch it when it comes out? Write your comments down below and let me know. And don't watch it on HBO Max. Don't. Watch it on the big screen if you can. If you can't, then watch it on HBO Max. But watch it on the big screen. Support it, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to see it. My name is Alfie, a.k.a. Random Black Guy, a.k.a. Chocolate Face No Makeup with a new outfit. What the hell happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. My camera died. Oh my God. Simple as that. <laughs> that was my review for Dune. Until next time, guys, I'm giving you out there. Peace.